Master Bix's handcrafted cocktails, we are putting our twist on the strawberry mojito today. Starting off with a Boston glass full of ice cubes. Actually, it's only half full of ice cubes, but that's on purpose. We're playing again with the 2-1-1 formula, two parts spirit, or two ounces in this case, two ounces of fine rum, one ounce of lime juice. That's the two one. The other one comes up with both of these great syrups. This is strawberry syrup. And of course the master of mixes mint syrup. I'm going to pour both of those in there making the two spirit, one sour and one sweet combination. We'll shake this up. I don't try to shake this up too much because the mojito is a little different for me. I'm actually going to serve the ice cubes that I shook. So I'm just going to mix those ingredients together. Top it up with a little bit more ice. Oh, that one's getting away on me. And we'll top it up with some soda water. But first, let me get my fruit in there. Fresh lime, fresh strawberry. Here I've just taken a, a, a thin slice of strawberry. I can put the rest in my cereal. And a thin slice of lime, just in there for garnish. Looks really, really pretty. And soda water. Topping it up with a little soda. And here's a fun way to keep your mint fresh. Bartenders for many years have been putting mint in cold, cold water, even soda water if possible. This keeps my mint down in the cold water. It's just a coffee uh, coffee press. I actually take the, uh, the fine filter out of it, put ice cubes in the bottom, fill it up with soda, and load it with my mint and other herbs. Here we go, I'll just give those a little shake off so that I can get the fresh mint that I need just to garnish this cocktail with. Of course, mint has a very low shelf life. So I get to buy just some fresh mint when I'm about to have the event or to make the cocktails. Fresh strawberry, a little fresh lime on there as well. There's a beautiful looking strawberry mojito.